So you guys asked for it, so I'm gonna give it to you. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vic here, back with another Madden 21 video. Today's episode, we're gonna be doing a realistic rebuild of the Minnesota Vikings with the new addition of Christian Derrishaw and also Wyatt Davis, who they picked up in the third round. I honestly thought he was a pretty good guard overall. I liked him a lot. Overall, their offense has improved a lot since the draft and the offseason. I think this team is really good. I think Kirk Cousins is arguably a top 10 QB. A lot of people will debate he is at number 10 or it's Ryan Tannehill. Either or can debate. Anyways, guys, let's move into the team. This is the overlook of the team. We have Kirk Cousins, Dalvin Cook, Adam Thielen, Justin Jefferson. O-line is honestly looking pretty good. Kirk Cousins here, 32 years old, star dev. He usually does good in simulation, but I think I'll have to eventually replace him. And Justin Jefferson's going to be a stud, obviously. He already is a stud. Christian Derrishaw has star development. And I also gave Wyatt, Wyatt Davis star development. If you guys didn't already know, rookies, all rookies get... Uh, normal development regardless of who they are that's just how the roster loads in you can't change the development you have to kind of do it how you please if you are new to this but defensively we look pretty good but anthony barr i want to see this contract 28 years old he's already going to start regression i think his contract yeah that's terrible i'm not going to pay you 15 million a year i'm not going to trade him that first year because that'd be considered unrealistic and so many people would have so many problems with it so i'm going to keep him until i don't need him so anyways guys apart from that i would say it's time to move into the midseason here we are at the midseason mark coming off a win to the Green Bay Packers. We are three and four, bottom of the division. That doesn't make any sense how the Lions are on top of the division. No logic there. But looking into the re-signings, Pat P doesn't know. Mackenzie Alexander doesn't know. Xavier Woods, depending if he can get a development upgrade, I might get him. I might re-sign him if he gets a dev up. So anyways, guys, it's time to move into the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs as we are coming off a win to the Lions as we are here to face the 9-7 Rams as we are 10-6 top of the division. The Lions moved to the bottom of the division as we flip, flipped flop places and looking into it, it looks like Kirk Cousins placed 9th in the MVP race. Okay, so he had actually a pretty good season. 15th best offense in the NFL, 14th best defense, okay, middle of the road, 4,100 yards, 38 TDs, 12 interceptions. Dalvin Cook, 8 TDs, 1,100 yards, that's a pretty good season. Justin Jefferson was awesome. 12 TDs, 1,300 yards. Irv Smith had 11 TDs, 800 yards. Thielen, almost 800 yards, 6 TDs. Pretty great season for Justin Jefferson. Eric Hendricks, 120 tackles, tackles for a loss. 9 for Daniil Hunter. Sacks on team, 15 for Daniil Hunter. Great season for him. Interceptions, 4 for Eric Hendricks. Eric Hendricks is really doing good so far. Safety, 0 and offensive touchdowns is 1 for Anthony Barr. Okay, so we are here to face the 9-7 Los Angeles Rams in the wild card round to see if we can move on to the divisional round in the first year. I don't know if we could. This could be a debatable matchup. I would be fine if we won or lost. And we're going to lose by 3 points, 32-27, which I'm okay with. I'm not really going to be upset about that. So let's move into the offseason. Oh, wow. The Browns beat the Cowboys in the Super Bowl. What an exciting matchup. Who would have ever thought the Browns would face the Cowboys in simulation? It's not like they do it every single time I simulate a game. Anyways, looking into it, we have some players to resign. Uh, Mackenzie Alexander here, Pat Peters, and Xavier Woods did get a dev up, 77 overall, 26 years old. Um... That's actually a really cheap contract, so I'm going to re-sign him mainly for that reason, and he's a star dev, and he's overall pretty young, so I will re-sign Xavier Woods. He had a pretty solid season, I guess. Didn't really see him on the stat sheet, but he probably did good. Looking into it, NFC North, nobody retired. I'm just going to make sure we are the NFC North. Yes, we are. Just got to confirm that. So didn't want to be looking at the wrong one. Looking into the development upgrades on the team, Kirk Cousins now has superstar development, but he's a 78 overall. He started at an 80 overall. I hate that. My biggest pet peeve in Madden franchise. You go up in dev, but down in overall. No, doesn't make sense. Justin Jefferson's a superstar dev. Now, no surprise there. He's a higher overall than Adam Thielen now. Defensively looking into it, it looks like Eric Kendricks is now a superstar X-Factor. 128 tackles. He had, I think, the most tackles for a loss. No, what was it? I don't... Most interceptions on the team is what it was. He had a great season, so let's just move to free agency. Here we are after free agency, and honestly, I don't like anyone here. I know Marcus Williams is here. I just, I just re-signed Xavier Woods. There's no point to get him. We have Harrison Smith. 
So here we are in the draft, picking up a defensive back position of need. We just lost Pat, lost Pat P and Mackenzie Alexander, so we desperately need this. So this is the team after the draft. Offensively, we honestly didn't. I don't really think we picked up much of anything. I think I picked up a depth tight end. It wasn't very good, though. Defensively, I did pick up, like, three defensive backs in the draft, but they're not very high overalls. I wish one of them at least got a hidden development, but all three of them did not, unfortunately. So let's just move into the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark coming off a win to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as we are not there second in the division three and five behind the four and three Packers. I can see that happening in real life. Kirk Cousins is only 78 overall. Harrison Smith I definitely want back 92 overall superstar X Factor. He usually retires every time I do a Vikings rebuild so hopefully he does not this time. Brian O'Neill, I usually trade for him actually a lot in my other rebuilds. I usually trade for him because he's an easy piece to pick up and he's a very solid piece. So he resigns with the team. Really like Brian O'Neill as a great offensive lineman, especially in simulation. Looking into it, uh, I don't. I just had a voice crack there. I'm having so many voice cracks in all my rebuilds. Anyways, off topic, I want to do a defensive back retirement influence for the sole reason that Harrison Smith does not retire. He retires in a lot of my rebuilds, so I definitely want to keep him. So let's move into the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs coming off a win to the Detroit Lions as we did not make the playoffs, finishing 7-9 and nine second in the division. That's unfortunate. Kirk did a little bit better in yards, a little not so good in touchdowns. And looking into it, he didn't even place top 10 for the league MVP, which is a little bit unfortunate. Only 30 touchdowns instead of 38 like last season. 17th best offense, 18th best defense. Again, slightly below the middle of the road. 4,200 yards, 30 TDs, too many interceptions. Dalvin Cook was Meh, that was not a good season. 13th, but 1300 yards, 13 TDs for Justin Jefferson. Amazing season once again. Eric Hendricks, 114 tackles, tackles for a loss, 13 for DJ Sacks, 10 for Daniel Hunter. Interceptions, four for Harrison Smith, which is awesome to see. And safeties on the team is going to be zero. And defensive touchdowns on the team is going to be zero. So not really that great in stats, but I'm gonna be okay with it. So, anyways, guys, let's move into the offseason. And oh wow, the Browns win the Super Bowl back to back. Very, very exciting. As Baker Mayfield wins league MVP, Mike Tomlin, coach of the year. Tom Brady, offensive player of the year. And Khalil Mack is the defensive player of the year. As the Niners lose another Super Bowl, I believe that's their third Super Bowl loss in a row. The Ravens, they lost to, and then the Chiefs, and now it's the Browns. So yeah. No uh, retirements, if I believe so, for our team at least. But looking into it, uh, these re-signings, I do not care for anyone here. Everyone here looks pretty garbage. So looking into the team to see if there is any development of grades. JJ better have X-Factor, and he does. Justin Jefferson has Superstar X-Factor, 97 overall with morale, 96 overall without morale. And I'm just going to give him his abilities like I always do. But looking into it defensively to see if there is any development upgrades. Um unfortunately no defensive backs but anthony barr has superstar dev i don't know how i missed that 76 overall i want to cut this uh yeah that's gonna save me a lot of money i just saved five million dollars in cap room per year i know i just took a, a five million dollar cap penalty i saved 10 million dollars though two years left on his contract i know he just got a dev up i'm not paying a 76 overall 15 a year so we are cutting Kirk Cousins in free agency, and you guys are saying, why are you going to cut him? 76 overall superstar dev. I just freed up $35 million a year for this team, and the reason being is because a GOAT is here. Literally, not Jair, MVP Baker Mayfield is here. You guys have to understand, I need this on my team desperately. So I ended up getting Baker Mayfield on my team, 92 overall, superstar X-Factor. Gave him a pretty good contract, and I also got Dante Jackson, a very solid defensive back. Really happy with this offseason, and I overall love it. So in the draft, we're picking up a defensive end, best player available. I guess he's going to play alongside Daniel Hunter on the other side of the defensive line, which I am okay with. And next, next, we're picking up a right guard, best player available, 72 overall, hidden developments. I'm going to move him over to left guard, and we should have an all-star development offensive line, I think. And now we're picking up a, an outside linebacker, 69 overall, nice hidden dev. He's going to replace Anthony Barr, not as good, but he'll do so this is the overlook of the team after the offseason and after the draft. And holy crap, dude. And who is this guy? Tom Jackson. I did not draft you. I never drafted you. If I drafted you with hidden developments, then I would have showed it on camera. So the CPU did that. And looking into it offensively, we look a lot better in my opinion, even without Anthony Barr. I'm so glad I cut Kirk for Baker. Definitely a trade I would love to make. Let's get to the midseason. Here we are at the midseason mark coming off a loss of the lines as we are 3-4 and four, apparently. That's cool, I guess. As we are 
third in the division as the Lions are top of the division at 5-3. and three. How is Jared Goff performing? And Michael Pierce is here, 91 overall, start of element. They paid him big money, I'm pretty sure, to get away from the Ravens and go to them. And, yeah, he gets big money once again as he resigns. Garrett Bradbury, 83 overall, star development. I do want him back. Definitely a solid piece as he resigns. Irv Smith Jr., 82 overall, star development. Do like him as a solid option. He's like in David and Joku, in my opinion. He progresses just as fast as him. Dalvin Tomlinson, 82 overall, start at. He does start regression, but he's still a solid piece, so I will keep him. Uh, Alexander, who is that? Alexander Madison? Yeah, I don't want him. I have Dalvin Cook. I can probably pick up another replacement in the draft, so let's get to the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs coming off a win to the Chicago Bears as we are 10 and 6 here to face the 9 and 7 New Orleans Saints and looking into a top the division above the 10 and 6 Detroit Lions and Baker Mayfield was awesome show me league MVP Zach Wilson takes it over him as Baker finishes second in the race still an amazing season best offense in the NFL and defensively 10th best defense so great how did we only finish 10 and 6 4600 yards 41 TDs 8 interceptions Dalvin Cook 11 TDs 1300 yards Definitely a jump back from last season, a jump up from last season. Johnson, 15 touchdowns, 1,100 yards. How does Justin Jefferson and Adam Thielen not put up those numbers? I mean, Justin Jefferson did already, but uh, I'm not really going to complain about it. Sacks on team, 19 and a half for Daniel Hunter. My God. One interception is for Troy Dye. Very few interceptions. A handful. One handful for everybody. Everybody kind of got an interception, but nobody got like an absolute heaping pile of interceptions. So let's see if we can beat the 9-7 and seven Saints to move on to the divisional round and then go from there looking into it and yes we beat the saints that's awesome to see here to face the 10 and 6 detroit lines and cliff malone the right defensive end is that the rookie that i drafted i don't quite know he has a breakout challenge though hopefully he can win it against the detroit lions i'm pretty sure he's in normal development so he will get up to star if he does get this let's see if we can beat him we do as we are here to face the dallas cowgirls and they're actually gods in simulations so this is going to be hard as we have some players to upgrade just let the cpu upgrade them and we will see what Malone got and ooh, it looks like he did get it and he did Malone now has star development you guys all saw it on camera so looking into it it looks like we're here to face the 12 and 4 Dallas Cowgirls to see if we can move on to the Super Bowl so let's hop in here we are against the Dallas Cowboys as it is 20 to 7 in the fourth quarter four minutes left and still 20 to 7 kind of a stalemate in the fourth quarter 22 14 now as they almost struck back but we're going to move on to the Super Bowl with the Vikings and here we are against the Cleveland Browns. They don't have Baker Mayfield anymore. Who do they have at QB? I, I want to see this. How do they make it to the Super Bowl without a QB? That doesn't make sense to me. Are they just gods just because EA said so? Josh Langford, a 78 overall normal development rookie QB, is going to... Okay, Um, how? That, <laughs> that's my question. How is that... How is that a thing? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, rookies usually actually do perform well in simulation, not in gameplay, though. They suck in gameplay. But looking into it, Hal Booth now has star dev. He always had star dev. That was just his unlocked hidden dev. Johnson has star dev, the slot wide receiver that did great this season. And it looks like, yeah, Malone. I think that was the, yeah, that was the rookie defensive end I drafted this year as star dev because of the breakout challenge. Casey only has star dev. And Troy Die now has star dev even though the only thing he did was get one interception the entire season but i guess that's cool so anyways guys apart from that i would say that it's time to move into the super bowl here we are in the super bowl against the browns 21 to nothing in the second quarter beating them senseless 24 to 3 now 31 to 3 31 to 6 in the third quarter 38 to 6 holy crap 13 to 38 and looking at 20 to 38 okay kind of making a comeback 41 to 20 we just slapped the living daylights out of the browns in the super bowl you can't do anything without your quarterback baker he's ours now 41 to 20 is your final score as we beat the browns in the super bowl thank god so your Super Bowl MVP is going to be Dalvin Cook. 20 carries, 91 yards, 2 TDs, 9 was his longest carry. So that's kind of cool, I guess. I wonder how Baker did. But anyways, guys, let's get to the offseason. Now in the offseason, obviously, Dalvin Cook won the Super Bowl MVP. Zach Wilson, league MVP. Mike McCarthy is going to be the coach of the year. And Baker Mayfield won Offensive Player of the Year with the Vikings, a.k.a. us. That's pretty cool to see. And looking into it, yes, let's go. Harrison Smith did not retire. That is exactly what I was looking for. 
Ooh, sorry about that. I don't know what I was doing. Dalvin Cook and all the weekly awards there you saw. Anyways, looking into it, Alexander Madison, no. Uh, Johnson, he's a good receiver three, and that's actually a really cheap contract, so I will resign him on that. So anyways, guys, apart from that, we have actually some money to spend in free agency, which I'm kind of excited for. So once again, let's move into free agency. So we were in free agency picking up Devin White, who I moved to the outside linebacker position. As I got him on a kind of cheap deal. I also got Jam Jamil Dean or Jamel Dean. I'm pretty sure it's Jamel Dean. So anyways, guys, let's get to the draft. In the draft, we're picking up a halfback to replace Alexander Madison because we literally don't need anything else on this team. We're so stacked that I can just pick up another halfback because again, so this is the overlook of the team after the draft. And honestly, um, offensively is amazing. Defensively is pretty solid. I wish we could replace Troy Dye. And maybe Xavier Woods, he didn't progress as, uh, as much as I hoped, but they're overall solid pieces, so let's get to the midseason. We are at the midseason mark, coming off a win to the Raiders, as we are 4-4, four and four, third in the division behind the Bears and the Packers. Uh, okay, I mean, Jordan Love and Justin Fields are both gods in the simulation. Everyone else here, I do not need to resign because it, we are in the final season, so I will not resign anybody, so let's move to the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs, coming off a win to the Panthers. We have a first round bye. How does that happen? 11 and 5, top the division with a first round bye. Uh, okay, then, I guess. I don't know how that works. I've literally been 14 and 2 one time and I didn't get a first round bye, but 11 and 5. Okay, that's cool. And looking into it, did he win league MVP? Baker Mayfield, third for league MVP, doesn't quite win it this time. Probably going to get Offensive Player of the Year, third best offense in the league, 17th best defense. And Baker, 4,400 yards, 37 TDs, 7 interceptions only. Great. Dalvin Cook, 12 TDs, 1,200 yards. Great season for him. Adam Thielen, thank you for showing up. 10 TDs, 1,500 yards. You finally put up numbers throughout this entire evil. 98 tackles, tackles for a loss, 16. And 16 sacks and 10 sacks for Michael Pierce. 16 sacks for Daniel Hunter. Two interceptions for Eric Kendricks. Safeties on team, zero. And defensive touchdowns on team is going to be zero. So anyways, guys, we're going to see who we're going to be facing the divisional round. Adam Thielen finally put up numbers. It took him the entire rebuild, but he finally got 1,500 yards and 10 TDs. Amazing season for him. Took him a long time to finally get back on top above Justin Jefferson. But we're going to see if we can beat the Packers in the divisional round as we have the first round bot. Nope. Okay. 27 to 24. I wouldn't have hopped into the conference championship or the Super Bowl either way. I usually just simulate those whenever we've already won the Super Bowl. So Baker Mayfield, 99 overall with morale. Doesn't quite look right in a Vikings uniform, I'm not going to lie. But still, we got him anyways. This team, I'm so happy with the way it turned out. Christian Dershaw actually developed pretty well. 86 overall star dev. I hate how offensive linemen cannot get development upgrades. I think maybe if you get the best offensive lineman award, you may get one. But I've never seen an offensive lineman get a development upgrade which is so lame in my opinion but anyways guys this was a successful rebuild with christian dareshaw and wyatt davis so anyways guys i thank you guys all for watching this rebuild and i hope you guys all enjoy it and i'll see you guys all in the next one